we're having a big financial discussion. And the current question is to sell our car and only have one car. The whole reason being to pay off debt faster and to become debt free faster. You wanna leave debt in this world or you wanna leave a dynasty? Can we afford our car payment? Yes, absolutely. But we have goals. And the only way to make those goals happen, as we're discussing, is to make major drastic changes now to benefit us more in the future. Do I wanna sell my car? No. Do you wanna get rid of the car? We need a Dave Ramsey button. We're, we're having this deep conversation and I'm like, I'm just thinking I need to like make a vlog of this. My beautiful Chevy Tahoe. If you can't see, Tahoe. Dave Ramsey would laugh at us. The ultimate goal? Oh, um, dinner. Get free by the time I turn 40 years old. That means the house paid for, all our debt paid for, which basically comes down to four years, four and a half years. No, four years, three months, four and a half years. Debt free, four and a half years. Ray's like ready to go. He's ready to hit the button, have them come pick up the car right now, and get it out of here. I mean, every day is the day wasted, more interest gets accrued, right? We started having this conversation a couple hours ago, and it's been a big conversation. We ran a bunch of numbers, realized that with all of our good- literally ran a bunch of numbers. I did run a bunch of numbers. Like, like graph, the spreadsheet. I calculated it all, how much our bills are. Well, we have a spreadsheet with all of our bills. But basically, what I did, we realized that, wow, our goal would totally be met. We would meet our goal, it would happen. Well, well, we probably won't have floor for another four years. Like Dave Ramsey said though, we don't want to be normal. <laughs> we absolutely do not want to be normal. We don't want to be normal. We want to be weird. We want to be the people who do weird stuff. Like what? Who does that? I love my car. That was my birthday present and Mother's Day present a couple years ago. I love my car. I like driving high up. Yes, Ray loved it for safety, but like, we don't really go anywhere, especially now with the coronavirus. <sighs> I'm just like, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I have major anxiety right now, and I'm like freaking out inside, and I like, like I want to do it, but I'm afraid to do it. I'm afraid to take that big jump. I'm scared. Could we make it work for our lifestyle and our family? Only having one car, absolutely. <sighs> but it's like. It's a big decision. Like Ray's just waiting for me to say do it. He's gonna like do it. No, wait. No! I don't know, Ray, stop! What'd you say? said it's just a car. It's a sacrifice and it's called paying debt. This whole conversation this morning started with us trying to uh, brainstorm ways of bringing in passive income. <laughs> and I didn't say it to Ray, but I did see it. It was like, I was looking up some websites and, and articles people wrote about, or just tips for passive income. And literally one of the things I saw was pay off your debt. Simple as that. If you pay off your debt, then that's passive income right there that you didn't have before. I got home, I had to go poop, and um, I was like, all right, I'm gonna look at stuff about passive income. And as I'm scrolling, looking, 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 I'm like, yeah, okay, blah, 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 all this stuff. I realized we need to pay our debt. And paying our debt relieves our current income from making, from getting the goals, or obtaining the goals that we want to obtain. So, that's the easiest thing to do. 
Yep. Now most passive income you were required required to have good capital to obtain, but or just work or a following on social media, <laughs> which we don't have. We don't have money for rental property. To get rental property, we have to mortgage. Yeah, but that's the thing. We're not going to take out more debt just to get some in. Like, no. Like, we need to use what we have. And I'm not. I'm not crafty. Like, I can't make stuff. <laughs> you know. Like, I don't have a blog. I'm not good at writing, so I can't really have a blog. I'm looking at my spreadsheet I made for us and just. This is a big decision. It's scary because it's weird. It's weird. I want something that people would do in a drastic event happen in their lives that brought them down to their knees and required. I mean, that's true. But we're doing this voluntarily. Yeah, we're doing it like voluntarily. Think about one less car to insure. It would cut our insurance in half. The insurance would go down. And gas. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That sounds kind of intriguing. You think about insurance. I didn't think about the insurance. Yeah. The sacrifice to our family would be we would have to drop Ray off at work every morning, meaning we would all have to leave the house at like 6.50, like you used to back in the day before you had to park at a different spot. Leave the house at like 6.50 in the morning, which will all be up by then because thinking of the school, like when school gets going, like we're all up. Leave at 6.50 and then I would have to pick Ray up at the end of the day, every day. And it's totally doable because like I'll have taken the time to make, the, make sure the girls have already had dinner and they're already bathed and we go pick up daddy. Typically their bedtime is 6.30. We could, we could have some wiggle room where their bedtime gets pushed to like 7.30 to where they're still getting adequate sleep. Oh my God, I, like I'm terrified to say the words. And yeah, you're right. It makes 150% sense. Like, hello, hello. This is the book that started it all. I'm just terrified, I'm, ter I'm terrified. We have to take a leap of faith, Ray. No, you don't. We just literally have to take a leap of faith and it's all gonna be fine. Here. You know, fortunately, fortunately, the Tahoe is a very good vehicle and it does hold its value. We're done. Amputate the Tahoe. Your freaking car owns you. And you gotta make a decision to live different because normal sucks. Yep, amputate the Tahoe. Dave didn't go amputate the Chevrolet. No, he was specific. He said amputate, amputate the, the Tahoe. Tahoe. <laughs> don't be normal, because normal sucks. Yep, don't want to do that. Oh. List your debts smallest to largest. Pay minimum payments on everything but the little one. And attack the little one with a vengeance. Sell so much stuff the kids think they're next. Put the dog on eBay and the cat on Craigslist. Get out of there, baby. We're done. Amputate the Tahoe. Your freaking car owns you. And you gotta make a decision to live different because normal sucks. Once you start to believe, then you'll sacrifice deeper. You'll work harder. You, you, you'll really start to do stuff that your broke That's friends right, think is sacrifice. nuts. My job will mean By the way, if your broke friends are making fun of your financial plan, you are right on track, sweetheart. Oh,